Okay, we're all pumped up here. See the carriage moves real good. Now, this is something a guy I worked with named Bill did, and I thought it was kind of, oh wow, they, you know, but maybe Bill's right. So I started doing it because it's, uh, it's, it's real uh, choppy. <laughs> okay, I'll show you. Take it all the ways like Bill. That's how Bill oiled them. Okay. We'll get back here in a minute. Okay, got the Monarch 10 uh, double E ways oiled up like Bill does it. And uh, I'm gonna move it back and forth a little bit. It just moves like glass now. And uh, get any dirt that's uh, coming out. Yeah, you see right here? Let me get that cleaned up here. That's what Bill does. I think it's a good idea. Okay, you look nice? Look. Yeah. Okay. Now, Bill also... Let me get that... Uh, here it is. This is a good idea, too, if Bill does this. You want to give your uh, control rod here a bunch of oil and your feed rod. And if we're going to use the lead screw, that needs to be cleaned in a while. Okay. Yeah, Bill puts a little bit back here too. Just make sure, you know. If anything, it'll prevent rust. Okay. So let's, uh, let's check out the spindle performance here. I'll get you on a tripod and I'll show you um, how the machine's supposed to behave. Okay? Okay, we're running about, looks like uh, on the tack here, this is not cooperating. There we go. Okay, on the tack here, we're running uh, about 800. Yeah. Uh, uh. Now, this is the one knob you can shift the CVE knob, so I'm going to get it down to a, a lower uh, uh, beat here. So you can shift it here, see? It won't hurt anything, but don't have your clutches engaged. You're running too fast, you're running at 600. You know, it depends. You know, if this is running real fast, you want to stop the machine. But this gives you three feeds at hand real quick so you don't have to shut the machine down. Okay, so I got that turned down real quick. I'm gonna crank it up. Okay, that's 2,000. I'm watching it. Watching for, for uh, it'll take a little while. Looking good, it's holding real steady. But it takes a while to warm tubes up. Okay, I'm gonna bump it up. Watch 
You hear that? The dynamic brake engagement. Let's go up. See, the dynamic brake stopped it to the, the speed I set it off fast. Now, the uh, motor generator doesn't do that. You turn it down, it, it has to kind of wind down. It doesn't have this kind of response. Let's see how fast to go up. We have 2,000 RPM, it's just almost silent. Really, it's very nice. Okay, I'm going to bump it down and show you some things here. Let's get down about 600. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to neutral. See it stop? Then we go to forward. Then we go back to uh, neutral. Stops in two seconds. Go forward, it, it'll uh, go uh, to whatever, 800 there, uh, in forward in two seconds. Okay, now I'm going to bring the lever directly to reverse and watch what happens. Okay, I'm going to go to forward. Back to reverse. You see, it's got an anti-plugging relay that brings the spindle to a complete stop before it'll reverse. So, your machine should do this. Go from, you don't need to do it at high speed, but uh, it should do this. It should pause and then go the other direction. And notice that it's buffed, that you don't hear any gear slamming like on the, the servo drive. I think that servo drive would be okay if you could uh, do a soft start. I don't know. I don't know about those things. So we'll go back to reverse. <laughs> okay, the kind of a growl thing you, you hear back there is something we got to adjust. That's the uh, speed compensation. So I believe we are really oiled up good here. Yeah, it's just so smooth. Just so smooth. Oh, that's nice. Okay. We'll go, okay, well, I'm going to come back and uh, we'll set that speed compensation the top speed. Okay, we're back here um, after warm-up. We discovered that the uh, top speed here, if I get the right knob, is over uh, 4,000. Drive her down here. See, it goes over 4,000. So I'm going to back it off here. And I'm going to get the screwdriver into the slot. If I can. Okay, I'm going to crank it up.
right there feathered in at uh, a little parallax area here. That's about 200. Okay, now I'm going to put my hand on this spindle, on this, um, um, call it chuck. It's smooth, and I want to grab it. You hear that growl? That's the speed compensation, and it and it's holding. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna play with it a little bit. One thing you want to do, it seems okay, but you want to start the lathe. Working good. Up that a little bit here. How are we doing? A little more. Okay. It seems good. Okay, I'm going to play with it a little bit here. Get that screwdriver in it. There's some open fuses down there, so you got to watch your hand. Okay, I got the screwdriver in, I think. Hold on. There we go. I feel it. Okay, I got it on that trim pot. Now, now I'm going to turn it off. You see, it's climbing. Now it's surging. When you see one of these do that, surge. The compensation's too high, so I'm going to back it down. Ah, isn't that smooth? Okay, grab it. Okay, I think it's still a little too high. Okay, get it down. Get ready to engage. Okay, I think that's okay. I'm going to start it. Yeah. Don't throw it in the reverse for fun. I think that's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to check top speed again. seconds. Okay, I'm going to back the, the speed knob off. Now remember, I adjust this with the machine running, and uh, I don't start at full speed because it'll cause the belts to slip. I back the belts off so they uh, don't vibrate. So I'm going to put it at my start speed here and start it. And I'm going to go back to 200 and check that uh, speed compensation. Because that top speed and the speed compensation, uh, if you adjust one, you gotta likely adjust the other. Oh, that's working good. Even, you know, send the top speed made that better. It's, it's connected. Is it climbing? It's doing good. I like it right there. Okay. So we're in trim, 
top speed and speed compensation are set. I will be back.